Award-winning, portable, off-grid power and expandable to grow with your future green energy needs in mind, that'll be Bluetti's AC200 Max. Let's take a closer look. Portable power stations, or silent generators if you will, are becoming very popular at the moment and Bluetti have been at the forefront of the green energy space for a very long time. They've got millions of customers around the world and they offer a range of portable power solutions from home battery backups to ultra portable units which can give you off-grid power practically anywhere. Bluetti have kindly sent us this AC200 Max and a bunch of portable solar panels at 120 watts to test out for this video and in my opinion this may just be the perfect size combination. It's got some unique features which are definitely worth having and probably the reason it won an IF Design Award in 2022. But before we get into it, let's see if the AC200 Max is suitable for someone like you. So who exactly is the Bluetti AC200 Max for? Well, it's ideal for somebody that's building a self-built camper van that doesn't want to deal with all of the expense and hassle and potential dangers of building and designing their own camper van electrical system. Everything you need is in this one box from the inverter to the solar controller to all of the DC ports, the batteries and the battery management system, everything is in one portable package. It's so much easier. You just put it in your vehicle and you're done. The electrical part of your adventure rig is a big investment for everyone. It's a big decision. And maybe you don't want to put all of that investment into one vehicle. Maybe you want the flexibility to be able to take your power system into the family car and go away on a tent camping trip one time. The Bluetti AC200 Max allows for a lot more flexibility. It's also a great option for people that live in homes and they want a backup power solution in case you're having blackouts and perhaps you don't want your fridge to go down or your freezer to go down and you to lose all your food. I personally think that the Bluetti AC200 Max has very impressive features, but I wanted to test it out in a real world scenario. But before we get into that, let's have a look at some of the features it has. The AC200 Max has two kilowatt hours or 2,048 watt hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries, which I believe is the perfect amount of power for van life. Let me explain. Under perfect conditions, you could get away with a smaller power station, but the reality is it's often going to be cloudy or you're going to be parked in the shade or you're not going to be able to recharge your power station. And you might have an appliance such as a fridge which is running all the time and will be taking the battery power down. If you have less than two kilowatt hours, you're likely to be thinking about how you can recharge your power station often. Two kilowatt hours gives you that little bit of redundancy, which is key to letting you have a relaxed, enjoyable time and not constantly be worrying about recharging your battery. Now, everyone's power needs are going to be different depending on the appliances that you're using, or if you're working off grid like me, you might have slightly higher power demands, or if you've got a large family with a lot of people charging devices, you may want to consider an even bigger unit. Whilst we're talking about battery capacity, the AC200 Max has lithium iron phosphate batteries, which is the safest, cleanest, and best battery technology that you can have in a power station. It has nothing toxic, no contaminating materials, and contains no rare earth metals. Because it's lithium ion phosphate, it's really fast to recharge, like rapid to recharge. And that's really important because you often don't have a big window of time to recharge it. You just want to plug it in and get going, or you're just doing a short drive and you want it to charge the most it possibly can, or you've only got a few hours of solar to get as much in as possible. You want to have lithium ion phosphate batteries in your power station. That's an absolute must. And because of this battery technology, you get 3,500 cycles. That's full to empty cycles before the batteries will drop to 80% capacity. Now to put that into some real world perspective, I've been using the lithium ion phosphate batteries that are built into my camper van for a number of years and I am nowhere near even a thousand cycles. It's actually a very good investment and will last you a long time. Okay, so two kilowatt hours is the perfect amount of power for most use cases, but what does the AC200 Max offer in terms of output and receptacles? The answer 
is plenty. It's got a 12 volt cigarette lighter port, a 12 volt 30 amp RV port, also known as Super DC. It's also got a 10 amp DC socket, a 100 watt USB-C socket, two fast charging 18 watt USB-A's and two more USB-A's for slower devices. On the top, the piste de la resistance are two wireless chargers, 15 watts, so you can just take out your phone and just put it down because let's face it, you're gonna pick it up again in about 30 seconds to check your notifications, but every time you do put it down, you're getting a charge. Really, really handy. I'm a big fan of that, um, and when I've been testing it, everybody has been using that all the time. This is kind of like a signature piece of the Bluetti power stations. And now in terms of AC power, you've got four AC sockets, running a total of 2200 watts or surging up to 4800 watts. It has four different sockets and those sockets are different depending on whether you're in Europe, UK or America, you can get the um, sockets which are correct for your region. The fact that Bluetti have put in a pure sine wave inverter which basically creates a cleaner, better electricity for your devices is a really good sign because they could have put in something which was cheaper, but they've gone for the, the high quality unit here. So that's a really good sign of the overall approach to build quality that Bluetti have taken. So thumbs up for that for sure. This is gonna have enough power to power things like a coffee maker, a microwaves, an AC unit, an induction hob, an electric grill. That's really good. I'm gonna fry you, I'm gonna recharge my electric fly squatter from my Bluetti power station and beat you, you cheeky bastard. Sorry, it's quite windy outside, so all the flies have come in here to uh, take some respite. And it's driving me insane. So there's plenty of ways to get the power out of the power station, but it's really important to consider how you get the power back in. And there are actually seven ways to recharge your Bluetti power station. The first three are the most common. One is to use an AC adapter, and you basically plug it into the wall, that'll give you 400 watts of recharging power. Now that might seem really big. This is actually really compact. The one I have built into the Combi electrical system is twice the size of that. Again, this is why this is so compact. The entire area underneath this seat that I'm sitting on is my electrical system for this Combi. This is much more compact and flexible and portable and nice. So you can recharge it from the AC up to 400 watts. You can recharge it whilst you're driving, which is really important to do because you can't always get the solar panels out in that situation. So to be able to plug it into a cigarette lighter and get a bit of a top up in between destinations is really, really key. The third way and the best way, in my opinion, is to recharge from solar panels. We've got 241 watts of solar coming in. 241, it's kind of hazy today. I'm surprised. It's hazy and it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Damn, that's good. You can actually connect up to 900 watts of solar into this. It's got a built-in solar charge controller and this is another thumbs up to Bluetti for the quality because they've put in an MPPT charge controller which is maximum power point tracking. It's a higher quality charge controller. It's able to make the most out of kind of adverse and intermittent sunny conditions so you might get a bit of cloud coming over but this device inside the MPPT charge controller will basically make sure you get the most out of those conditions and put the most power back in. Now the Bluetti AC200 Max comes with all of the adapters necessary when you're going to recharge in those methods. There are additional ways you can do it. For example, you can charge it with a generator. You can charge it from a lead acid battery. You can charge it actually with an additional AC adapter. So you can get two of these and charge up to 800 watts, but you have to purchase that separately or now get this, you can charge it from an AC adapter and solar at the same time, giving you up to 1300 watts of input, which means it will charge in literally no time. Literally, exactly no time, zero time. Zero, that's impossible. But it's quick anyway, let's just say that, it's very fast. I mentioned that I wanted to do some real world testing and really stress test the AC200 Max uh, out of lab and perfect conditions. And so we drove 11 hours south into the French Alps with my brother Connor, who has just bought his first van and it's not yet ready. He hasn't completed his van build, so it's an absolute basic shell. There's nothing in there at all apart from a blow up mattress and a very powerful fridge, which will be using a lot of energy because the temperatures would be really high. I would be working off grid with my laptop doing editing and we would be using the AC200 Max as our only power source at camp for six people and all of their devices for two weeks. This was a serious test. 
this is not the optimal positioning of these solar panels here. Um, to be honest, I've been a little bit lazy and I kind of want to see what would happen if I just kind of threw them out in a realistic scenario because obviously the best way to set them up is using the supports on the back so they sit on 45 degrees and set them all perfectly angled towards the sun. But in reality, it's quite likely that you might just be stopping for a few hours and you might just want to quickly throw them up, just lean them against the side of the van. So I thought I'll try them out like that. And actually it's worked really well, surprisingly well, and has powered the power station the entire time that we've been here for the last almost two weeks. That's been a real surprise to be honest with you. It's enough power for me to work on my laptop and also to power the fridge full time with lots of people using it. So, and lights in the van and everyone charging their phones. There's, there's been five or six of us here and we've all been charging our devices on it so i mean that's quite astonishing really i did not expect it to be able to keep up with that demand but it has done and it's remained for the most part over 75 percent full every day even though the weather has not always been as good as it is right now right now it's blue skies stunning perfect solar conditions but there's definitely been some cloudy days and some rainy days and even with all of that in a completely realistic scenario we just had more power than we've needed which has been absolutely brilliant i'm blown away to be honest in case you're wondering about these portable solar panels bluetti have a range of models up to 350 watts currently i've been using the 120 watt models and i've got three of them for a total of 360 watts which is a nice amount to have 360 watts of solar in my hand here and honestly i can put it under my arm that's how little space it takes up. That's amazing. I've got to say that I was pleasantly surprised about the build quality and just how compact they are. They are definitely much nicer than other portable solar panels we've tried. And if you can, I would recommend that you get some to go with your portable power station. Couple of considerations if you're considering purchasing a AC200 Max. Firstly, the DC charging option for plugging it into your cigarette lighter is really good. It works really well, but the cable is only a finite length. So you have to consider where the position is. You don't need it to be sat on the seat next to you, but when we drove to France, we had it on just behind the bulkhead and the cable that comes with it just about reached into the unit and recharged from the dashboard. So that's something to consider if you wanted to keep, for example, the unit in the back of the, the vehicle and your socket was in the front, you may need to look at getting an adapter or a cable extension. Likewise for the solar panels, it's definitely possible to have the solar panels a, a short distance away from the vehicle so you can park in the shade. However, if you wanted to have the panels really far away, um, you'd need to purchase an additional cable. That's actually very easy to do. Those are just a couple of considerations I wanted to share with you after having used it in real world scenarios for the last two weeks. Um, I want you to be ready for your road trip when you get the unit. So what makes this Bluetti unit special? Award winning. It won the IF Design Awards 2022. It has the wireless chargers built in, which I've already mentioned, but I think mostly it's to do with the fact that this Bluetti AC200 Max is actually expandable. So it will expand to your future energy needs. You can buy um, the B200s or the B300s, giving you up to eight kilowatt hours of battery capacity. That's a smaller unit that basically plugs into the side here. You can basically extend the power without having to purchase all of the outlets and all of the intelligence and the display and everything. This will be your main unit and those other units are just to add additional capacity. It's the only power station that I've personally seen that does this and I think it's a brilliant feature. Low impact, they're not forcing you to buy an, a complete new unit if you need additional capacity. The other really nice thing to have is the Bluetti app. I really like the fact that you can check the status of your power station um, just from your phone as well. That's such, such a sweet touch. Of course, you can see all the information and more on this fantastic touchscreen display on the power station itself, which is where you can adjust certain settings and check stats. But right from your smartphone, you can check the most important information. Like how much solar you're getting in and how much power you're drawing out from the Bluetti app. It's a nice to have and it is nice to have.
If you're interested in getting a Bluetti AC200 Max or perhaps one of their larger or smaller power stations, Bluetti are offering you £80 off when you spend £500 or more, which is a really sweet deal. Having used the power station, I was really impressed. It looked good on paper, it performed much better in reality, and I think the quality of the product is, speaks for itself. You'll be very happy with the purchase. So I'll link the discount code, which is Bluetti Combi Life, in the description below the video. Thumbs up to Bluetti for sending us the unit. Thank you very much. That was a really big help. Thanks to you guys for watching and until next time, happy travels.